you can't incentivize results. Like, you can't do that. You can only incentivize the behavior that will achieve a certain result. Um, and if it's only about the short term, then guess what? You're going to drive a behavior that drives short term. And so, in your case, what are the behaviors that you're recognizing and rewarding? And so, if people are getting bonused only for hitting numbers, and they're not getting bonused for how they do business, then you're going to incentivize a certain behavior. So I'll give you an example. Um, so young in my career, I worked at an ad agency, and I was the junior dog's buddy to the junior dog's buddy. And um, it was traditional for a big new business pitch that the senior folks would run the pitch. Um, well, it happened to be around Christmas time, and all the senior folks went on vacation. And so me and one other junior person who were left behind because we didn't go on vacation were told to prepare the war room, which basically means take a conference room and fill it up with all the research. Well, that took a few hours, right? But we still had a week. And so she and I decided to write the whole pitch. We went through all the research, and we came up with a strategy, and we wrote the pitch. All the senior leaders came back. We presented our work, and they actually used our strategy in this new business pitch. And we lost the pitch. We didn't win. And I got a huge promotion. <laughs> my boss actually moved me up two levels inside the company. Because he wasn't rewarding my performance, he was awarding and rewarding my initiative. By, by, by giving me a promotion for taking the risk to do the extra work, guess what I did after that? Took more risks and did more work, even if it meant it, it didn't, winning or losing didn't become the primary yeah. factor for me. It was the initiative that became, but that wasn't because of me and my, and my innate anything. That's because that's the behavior my boss wanted from me. And so I think what happens when we get big is we, be, we do become too obsessed with the result, and we don't consider the behavior. There are some brilliant people making big decisions who may have missed the number or may have missed the goal, but we gave them nothing, which sends a subconscious message to the rest of the company, which is, if you hit your numbers, you'll do well here. If you don't hit your numbers, we don't care how you do it, yeah. as long as, you know. So you get the point. So I think, you, I think it, it happens, big companies to, need to go back and reevaluate how they recognize and reward. Um, uh, and what, if you want, want risk-taking, then recognize the people taking risks, even when they fail.